What's up guys and welcome back to the Manchester United career mode here on FC24. We are not going to be getting into the January transfer window here at Manchester United and we are going to get through the whole month of January in this episode. We're going to get through these four games and I don't think we're going to play anything after that because uh, we're going to do some transfer business as well. So we're going to get to that here in a minute. We are going to go ahead and simulate to our Manchester City game in the Carabao Cup. If you didn't catch out, uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, please be sure to go check that one out. We did get to the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. We also made it through the Champions League group stage. And we're going to be facing, unfortunately, Real Madrid. Not in this episode, but I don't think we're going to get past them. I have, I have a feeling that we're not going to. But we were able to finish second in our group, which was a pretty good accomplishment for this squad. This is the short list of players that we have on the transfer list as of right now. And, I mean, really, there's only two players I want to bring in. And that's going to be Orkin Kokju from Befica. And then Eli Wahi from Lons in France. But unfortunately, both players have recently joined their clubs and are not going to be moving again. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get them. I mean, I, I'm, ho I'm hoping to by the end of the month. But I just don't know if it's going to be possible. We can still go after Brian Brabby for a backup striker position. And he's very good. So I don't have a problem with that at all. But I would rather go for Wahi. I added uh, Victor Gokiris, I believe is how you say his name. He's just too good. Uh, he would definitely overtake that starting spot, but I would love to use him. I think I would like him more than I would Hoyland, to be honest with you. But let's uh, leave it up for the for the comments for you guys if you want me to bring him in in the summer transfer window coming up at the end of this season. But, I mean, looking at his stats, he is absolutely incredible. But yeah, hoping to bring in Kochu and hoping to bring in Wahi by the end of the episode. We're going to see what happens. But for now, we're just going to simulate to our game against Manchester City here in a few days. First up, we've got an away fixture here against Manchester City, like I said. I mean, looking at this team, it's still just as good as it always has been. Not really any changes from real life besides Hakimi at right back. But uh, Phil Foden not in that starting lineup, I don't believe. At least I didn't think I saw him. Yeah, no, no Phil Foden in the starting lineup. I'm actually going to check to see if he's still there. He is, just not playing in this game, so that's interesting. Uh, we're going to go with the best lineup we can put out. We are going to try to win this competition, even though it is just the Carabao Cup. Um, and as you can see, at left back starting his best opinion. If you guys didn't check that last episode out, please be sure to go check that one out and leave a like on it and leave a like on this one while you're at it and hit that subscribe button as well. All right, City pushing forward here early on in this game. Bernardo Silva with a good turn. gets past Paulinho, who is going to pick up a yellow card for an earlier challenge. But luckily, that shot from Bernardo Silva goes just wide. And the challenge earlier from Paulinho definitely wasn't a good one. Took out KDB very nicely, setting the tone for the game early. Alinea going to swing this ball out wide to Estepinia. Nobody really in the box. I'm going to be able to get around Gavardio very easily. We're going to have to turn it around. Hoyland, I see McTominay. McTominay to Trincao. Oh, and Trincao with a good shot, good effort, but a good save by Ederson as well. 16 minutes gone now. We're going to go ahead and swing this one in with Bruno. Ederson has to go for an acrobatic save, but does so well. Martinez now with it. Back out to Trincao. Hoyland. Not the greatest turn, and Rashford will let it go out. Bruno swinging it in again, same spot. This time, not able to connect. Another corner for us. So 20 minutes gone. We're, I mean, both teams are playing well so far. I'd say we're playing a little bit better. And Rodri, oh, Hoyland. Wow. I thought Ederson was going to bobble that ball enough to where we could get onto it, but good goalkeeping. Holland on the edge of the box. Pass straight to Todibo. Onana's going to have to clear it away. Can we keep it in bounds? We can, but we turn it right back over to them. Rodri with it. Now out to Grealish pushing forward. We need to take away the cutback pass to Holland. I'm much more worried about him than I am Grealish, but Grealish is just going to continue to run around and be a nuisance. And Paulinho will clear that ball away. We'll swing that corner in, take it short. As opinion clears it away well. Bruno's got a... Ball all the way out here to Estepinion. It was a great pass. Rashford inside to Bruno. Didn't really like our options there. Going to try to turn the corner again. Estepinion cannot be found by Rashford's ball. What a pass over Onana. I mean, I just didn't even think that it was possible to get a cross up and over him like that. We tried to go in for the sliding challenge. And yeah, that's just an insanely good pass to the back post. Grealish there with the one of the easiest goals probably he'll ever score in his life. 
Grealish with the ball inside to Alvarez. Alvarez to Holland. Holland to Bernardo. Tadebo with good defense initially. Nearly scared me there by running the ball back into our net, but we are able to get away. Rashford looking inside for Bruno. We've got Estepinion out here. I see the cross. Doesn't really work out. We're going to end up with it yet again. Paulinho. Oh, what a ball. Ruben Diaz. Good tackle. Ball into Bruno. And Bruno's going to be able to find Sancho, who we just brought on a couple seconds ago. Dallo inside to Hoyland. Really just need to hold on to possession. Wow, Bruno is going to be found. Rashford right into Ruben Diaz yet again. Bruno to McTominay. McTominay back to Bruno. We will have... Sancho here. Hoyland is going to get the shot away somehow around the defender, but Ederson again with an incredible save, and we have been denied yet again of a goal-scoring opportunity. Yes, opinion will knock that one away for a throw-in. Sancho has been a major threat for us since coming on. Finds the ball into Hoyland, but nowhere really to go. Alinea. I really wanted to find Rashford in the middle, but just couldn't. So far, nothing really going our way in this game. Still down 1-0, 80 minutes gone. Luckily, we do have the second leg of this fixture since it is the semifinals. So, nothing to worry about too much. Uh, one goal deficit isn't terrible. And we're threatening yet again. Sancho, out on this wing again, is going to be found and somehow tackled. Great interception there. And for whatever reason, we could not hold on to that ball. 87 minutes gone now. We still haven't really made any subs besides Sancho. And we probably should have at this point. But we just really need to get the ball off of them first. And we're able to do so. Sancho now inside to Bruno. This should be a goal. Hoyland with an excellent finish. Barely got that one around Ederson. And we will find a way to get a leveler here in the 91st minute of this first leg. So we've got a chance to go into that second leg level with man city on goals so not the worst position to be in and it is going to be a home game at old trafford in that second leg so we've got a big opportunity here to get to a final in our first season here at manchester united and let's hope that we do it and our second game of the episode is a matchup against spurs in the premier league and as you can see i mean premier league wise things aren't great for us uh really we just can't draw games we just either win or we lose nine wins three draws eight losses Goal difference isn't terrible, but it's not good, obviously. Uh, we can easily, you know, get up into the top six. We can get sixth place, uh, but fourth place is already kind of hard to get. Spurs are the team we're playing, and they're 13 points ahead of us. Uh, so it's going to be tough. We still got a lot of season left to go, though, so anything can happen. I just don't know if it's going to happen for us, which could put us in jeopardy as far as our job security goes because they want us to... Uh, not only reach the semifinal of the Champions League, but they want us to finish in a Champions League spot in the Premier League as well as win the FA Cup. I don't know how well uh, that's going to go. So we could lose our job by the end of the season. You never know. But let's go ahead and get into the second game. I checked the transfers uh, opportunities we have with Kochu and with uh, Eliwahi, and neither one of them are eligible to move yet again. So we'll see what happens there. I think we're going to stick with the same team that we just had against Spurs or here against Spurs that we had against Man City. So let's go ahead and get into this game and let's see if we can get three points in the league. McTominay over here to Paulinho. I was going to look inside. We do find Rashford inside. Let's see if we can turn it around. Good turn. Good shot, but an even better save. Bruno swinging in this corner. McTominay will be on the end of it, but will unfortunately send it over the bar. So Tottenham escape turmoil here after the seventh minute. Weyberg inside to Richarlison. Richarlison waiting for a pass. Finds Madison, but Tadebo is not having any of that. We'll gladly clear that one away. But they're right back. Hoiberg with the ball to Richarlison. Richarlison to Son. Heavy touch inside. Another heavy touch. Tadebo takes out Richarlison, but we're able to stick with it and not get a penalty called on us. And now Richarlison has it yet again. Holding up play to Debo again, not having any of it. Not sure what the Spurs attackers are doing, but getting past them and getting the ball away. Good pass out here by Hoyland to Trincao. Inside to Bruno. And then just turn it right over. Nice. Kulisewski down the wing, holding off Estepinion, not able to get in front of him. Or Charleston with the shot. The ball falls to Madison. To Debo cannot clear it away. It kind of slips and falls over. And 25 minutes gone. That is a 1-0 lead for Spurs. 
And again, things not looking great for us so far. Rashford pushing forward into a sea of blue shirts as of right now, but Estepinion is going to be found. Hoyland was in a perfect spot to receive that ball in the middle of the box and decided to move. And Vicario will eventually clear that one away. Hello, going to get that ball to Trincao. Trincao can find Hoyland. Hoyland, heavy touch at first, but is going to find Bruno to level this game at 1. So a 1-1 one, one draw here yet again so far in this game as well, but only 40 minutes gone, so we have a lot more time to potentially find a winner and at least go ahead in this game at some point as well. But excellent play there to get us our first goal of the game. And that's how you give up a goal just three minutes later. That's how you do that. You just watch them run right past you. Uh, Madison is going to collect that one for another goal. I believe that's his second of the game, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, not great defense. Definitely not good tackling. And then just nobody marking him for some reason. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, pretty easy finish. 2-1 for Tottenham here at the end of the first half. Doggy pushing forward, finds Richarlison. We take away one lane to find Madison, and we do so well with Tadebo. He is really a solid defender for us, but sometimes he's prone to a mistake. We give away possession yet again, trying to get the ball off of Madison, but unable to. Alinea with a good interception. Dallo inside to McTominay. We'll go back out to Dallo. We've got the opportunity to cross this ball. Udogi does well to knock it away, and that will be a throw-in for us. So we're going to look to throw it in. Trincao, I guess, is our best option. And a terrible touch. I don't know what the hell that was. Kulisevsky around Estepinian. We're tracking back, and we are able to make him turn around. But can we find a way to get this ball away? Paulinho with a good tackle initially. Richarlison, great touch. And Martinez can't clear it away. Poro with a very Poro shot, if you will. Now Dallo racing forward. We've got Hoyland. We've got Trincao. We'll go all the way across to Rashford. Van de Ven in with the block. Dallo pushing forward. I see Hoyland. Great cross in. It was on target to Hoyland. But Vicario comes out and collects it. 80 minutes gone. We're going to get some subs on hopefully soon. Hasn't been a stop and play in a minute. But things aren't looking great for us. We just can't get through the back line. Good ball out here to Kulisevsky. We have Malasia now. On him and then Jao Paulinha again is always there he gets a lot of interceptions for us we're pushing forward with Sancho but we have no one running with us we do now we're gonna try to find one Hoyland is here we'll look out here for Bruno Bruno's gonna cut back inside Vicario gets the save the ball is cleared out and it looks like the referee will blow the whistle for full time and we are not able to capitalize on that last chance to get a draw in this game Unfortunately, that's zero points. Three points again dropped by Manchester United this season. All right, well, we've got a little bit of a break now in between that game and the next one between us and Manchester City. We've got an offer here for Shola Shuratire. I believe how you say his name. Not really interested in using him, but I'm not also interested in sending him to another club. I'd rather loan him out if we're going to do anything. We are able to get some money there for the tournament prize money for the FA Cup. Ooh... And we get a job offer for the France for for the France national team, excuse me. And that is very intriguing. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that offer. Probably won't show a whole lot of it, but if we get to the Euros uh, in the summer window, then I'll go ahead and show that in this career mode as well. And that could be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for that job. If you guys don't want me to do any France or do any national team stuff, then I won't. But uh, I'll probably still play the games just for my own fun. We're going to go ahead and get into this next game against Manchester City. And it looks like we had another game come up for the FA Cup here against Fulham. And I think we're going to go ahead and play that game. And what we'll do is we'll finish off with these two games. And then we'll leave the Wolves game for the next episode. And leave the end of the January transfer window for the next episode. And see if you guys have any suggestions on who else to bring in. Anything like that. Because as of right now, it looks like we still cannot bring in Kochu. And we still cannot bring in Ellie Wahi. So more than likely, we're going to go for Brabi in the striker position. But center mid, I would still like to bring someone in. We can bring in Ebri Chiesa. Uh, he can play that kind of camp center mid area. But obviously, his defending is not great. And Kochu is just kind of very well-rounded in every aspect of the game. So he would have been my preferred choice. But if we can't get him, we can't get him. 
So we'll go ahead and get into this game against Manchester City now, but looks like Chelsea got through over Liverpool 4-1 on aggregate, so they are already through to the finals of the Carabao Cup, so we would be facing them if we are able to get past City here. It's going to be a tall task, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Whenever we face Man City, it's kind of how it goes. Looks like they're going with the same team as last time, but we are going to make a couple of subs in our lineup. We are going to start Rafael Varane in defense. And we're going to start Sancho out on the right instead of Trincao. Maybe get something different. Maybe see something a little different out there. So hopefully we can get a win here, boys. All right. It looks like we're going to get a little snow game here this time. Terrible pass by Dallo to Sancho. Grealish now up to Holland, who's got a lot of pace. And I think just a little bit more than Rafael Varane at this point in his career. He'll look back inside for Alvarez. We'll get in the way with Dallo. And I think it hit Alvarez's arm. I believe, and that's why we're going to get a free kick here. Now they're back. Oh, Bernardo Silva's shot's going to be blocked by, I believe that was Rafael Varane that time. And it will go out for a corner, so first corner of the game for either team. 15 minutes gone. We're swinging it in. Estepinion is going to be there yet again, just like last time. But Grealish will pick up the ball. Find a pass inside to Alvarez, who finds Bernardo who finds the back right corner of the goal. And that will be a one-goal lead for Manchester City here in this game and on aggregate in the fixture. Holland with a ball through to Alvarez. This time Onana makes the save. Only a couple minutes after they just scored. They're already back again. So let's see what happens here off this corner. They take it short to Silva, who tries a little bit too much trickery and will be dispossessed. All right, we got a free kick here in a somewhat dangerous position. Um, I don't know if McTominay is the guy we want on it. We should probably go with Bruno. We're just going to try to send this towards maybe like the back post area. Uh, not a great area to take a free kick from. Not a bad free kick either, but McTominay couldn't really get to it. Akanji has it back to Ederson, and they'll clear it out. The passing is just so quick, and the players are so quick as well. Bernardo Silva dragging that ball back. A nice turn. Clear it out. Onana. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. We are lucky not to concede right there. I don't know what was even going on. I'm just going to try to send this one up to Hoyland. It doesn't really go anywhere near Hoyland. And that's going to be the end of the first half. So, somehow, miraculously, we're still only down by one goal in this game. So, we've got a, we've got a chance. Not a good one. Not a good chance at all. But we've got a chance. Ooh, McTominay gets absolutely taken out in midfield by Rodri, I believe. Surely that's not going to be a red. It's probably going to be a yellow. It is a straight red for Rodri in midfield. Not sure what he was doing. I thought that was going to be a replay right there. Uh, we're going to switch this to Bruno again and do kind of the same thing. Try to get it towards that back post area. Maybe get a little bit more power on it this time, of course. Not a bad effort. And again, cleared away by Kanji. Bruno in midfield, finding Paulinho. We are going to find Estepinion. We're going to look inside for Rashford. We've got Sancho out on the wing now. That cross was just a little bit too high for my liking, but Sancho ends up with it and sends a shot right into the feet of, a, of Ederson. Give me Paulinho. Holy shit. I mean, what the hell is going on? It is nearly impossible to switch players and switch to the right player in this game. I mean, I wanted Paulinho in midfield. Look at how close he is to the defender, or to the attackers. It would not switch to Paulinho. And he is the perfect player to try to go in for a tackle right there. Especially since we know the player base difficulty, they just make a move and they're around your center back. 2-0 Man City. Can't complain too much. I mean, they deserve it. They've been better than us for sure, but... It is annoying when the game itself is part of the issue. Alvarez down this wing. Martinez sort of in front of him. Not really. Holland. Find a pass inside to Bernardo Silva, who luckily sends it wide. Not that it really matters at this point, but we at least still have a, a chance. I keep telling myself we have a chance when we probably realistically don't. Our two subs are going to link up real quick here. Trincao luckily brings that one down. Hoyland. Let's go ahead and take a shot. Not a bad effort. Can't be mad at it, but not on target. Oh, it was a, it was a save. Okay, that makes more sense. We'll go ahead and swing this one in with Bruno. Looking for Varane, who gets to it, and another save. 
And there is the referee's final whistle. So unfortunately, we will miss out on the chance at some silverware here in this first season. And we will take a loss here against Manchester City at home at Old Trafford 2-0. And we will be out of the Carabao Cup in the semifinals. It was a good run. Played some decent teams. Got past some uh, good opponents. And even Man City. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not disappointed with how we performed against them. But disappointed, obviously, not to make the final. And we unfortunately only have a three-day break until our final game of the episode here against Fulham. So we are going to go ahead and get into this one. Hopefully, I'm going to look at the uh, transfer hub real quick at the short list and see if we can bring in either of our players yet again. Still, no. We can bring in Bobby, but we cannot bring in Eliwahi or Kochu. Let's see if we can loan them in. Yeah, I, I highly doubt that they're going to be interested in loaning them in. So... Uh, yeah, looks like our options is going to be Brian Brabi or Eberichi Eze for the center mid and striker positions. I'm not mad at it. What I am going to go ahead and do is bring in Brian Brabi because I don't want him to get any better or any more of a value on him. Looks like we're going to pay upwards of 40 million for him. We'll go straight in with a first offer of 37 million euros. Let's see if we can go with that. They're okay with 37 million, but they want a big sell-on clause. And... I would rather not have that much of a sell-on clause. I'll give him like 5%, and then we will propose a new fee. We'll go up to $40 million. I would rather just spend the money now than to have to spend it later. And it looks like they're going to say yes to that. So we're going to go ahead and bring in a deal for Brian Brabby. And that deal is going to be worth £70,000 a week as well as a £400,000 signing bonus. So... Brian Brabby is officially a Manchester United player here in this January transfer window. And we'll get him on a training plan right away, but we're not going to include him for the squad here in this game against Fulham. This is going to be their lineup, a very beatable team. Uh, and I really want to win this because in the FA Cup, of course, Manchester United won this season in real life. So I would love to win it in this career mode as well. And you'll see that we're going to change up some things in the lineup. Garnacho is going to get that start out on the left wing. And then we're going to change a lot of our back line in defense. Malasia, Juan Bissaka, and Todibo all getting the start as opposed to the last game where they did not. So everything else is the same, though. I would love to switch up the midfield, but I'm just not confident with our backups. Really just Manu. I mean, in, in real life, I, I think he's a fantastic player. But in this game, not quite as much, and McTominay is our best option. So I wish we could bring in Kochu. That, that would be great. Oiland out to Malasia. Malasia inside to Garnacho. We'll look over here for Bruno. Overran it just a bit. And somehow that shot gets around the defender and around the goalie. And uh, yeah, again, it's Bruno Fernandez, one of the best players Manchester United may have ever seen at this point. This career mode, he is going crazy this season with his goals and assists. And he gets yet another one. I want to see the replay on this. He overruns the ball. Really, the pass is just behind him. And yeah, for some reason, I guess the Fulham defender didn't really want to get in the way. Great shot. And... Yeah, nothing the goalkeeper could really do from that distance. Malasia inside of Garnacho. We've got some room to shoot. I don't hate the effort, but I don't love it either. Garnacho pushing forward again. We're going to find Bruno. Bruno's going to find Hoyland across goal. Didn't really get it across goal. Kind of just shot it right at Leno. Pull him forward again. Awobi inside. Marrero, or Malero, Excuse me, is able to get the shot away or not and gets the save and hardly could see it with the way the sun was placed right there. But it will be a corner here for Fulham after 30 minutes. Good cross in. Molero is able to get onto it. Onana scared me there for a second, but is able to collect. Sancho cutting it back inside. Fernandez. Hoyland. Fantastic turn. Somehow he's able to stop that ball on a dime. And Bruno, again, like I said, now with a goal and an assist already in this game. And when he does that. It's almost guaranteed that we're going to win. Every time he scores, we win. And every time he doesn't, we lose. That's pretty much how it's been going this year. Hoyland trying to pass back inside to McTominay. McTominay, a great ball over here to Garnacho. I actually really like that pass, but not able to do anything with it just yet. Hoyland inside to Bruno. Bruno to Sancho. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir, boys. That is 3-0. That is what we love to see. Sancho with an insanely good finish off of that. Beautiful assist by Bruno Fernandez yet again. Let's take another look at this one. Great pass inside. Pretty much a no look. And then, yeah, a finish like that is beautiful every time. Looks like Fulham are going to get on Mikel Antonio for Armando Broya. And we're going to go ahead and get a four-man sub on as well. It didn't show it, but 
We're bringing on a lot of players. Mason Mount taking the place of Bruno. He's going to get a rest for one of the few times this season. Also bringing on Branthwaite in defense, hoping to get him some game time and hoping to get him some tackling in to, to boost his confidence up. He's been asking for some game time and hasn't been able to get it. And right on cue, there he is. And Paulinha able to get that ball away. But Garnacho isn't. So we're still in trouble as of right now. Tabi Mainu with a good tackle. Fulham are threatening yet again. Good pass inside from Pereira to Malero. And that is going to be one back for Fulham here. They're celebrating this one quite hard, but they're still down by two. So we're okay with it. They can waste all the time they want, but that's a great shot and a great finish. Marcia into Garnacho. Garnacho with the pass to Trincao. Trincao with the outside the foot finish. Wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get that one off, but he does. And that will probably be the last efforts of the game for both teams. Probably going to ease it up here now that we're up by three. Yet again, 4-1 here after 84 minutes. And that will be that for this game. So moving on in the FA Cup. That's exactly what we'd love to see. A 4-1 victory over Fulham. Pretty easy match for us. Easiest of the episode by far. And I just checked and we still cannot bring in Kokchu. So unfortunately, we are going to be going without a center mid for this episode to bring in. But... Please be sure to leave your comments down below for a player to bring in in center mid or cam. I'm kind of looking for a player that can play both center mid and cam, kind of a exactly like Kokchu. So if we can't get him, I need to know who to bring in, and that's where you guys are going to come in. So if you could, please be sure to leave your comments like I just said. Like the video while you're at it, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But that is going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys on the squad hub screen, especially so you can see that Bruno Fernandez has... 18 goals and 18 assists in all competitions through 33 games. So it doesn't get much better than that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.